So is President Obama really mad as hell about our vets dying while waiting for health care under his watch? Well, here's how he spun the scandal yesterday. We all know that it often takes too long for veterans to get the care that they need. That's not a new development. It's been a problem for decades. Caring for our veterans is not an issue that popped up in recent weeks. Some of the problems with respect to how veterans are able to access the benefits that they've earned, that's not a new issue. That's an issue that I was working on when I was running for the United States Senate. Well, a lot of people aren't satisfied with his response, and it's not just Republicans. I was very disappointed with President Obama today. There was no urgency. Mr. President, we need urgency. And the president is still standing by VA Secretary Eric Shinseki through all of this, but the calls are growing louder and louder for him to reconsider. Shinseki should be fired immediately. He's not competent to run a federal agency. He's got to go. At one point, the American Legion even stood behind him and defended him, and we've just lost confidence. Secretary Shinseki is nothing more than a distraction. I've not called for General Shinseki to uh, resign, although I have to admit I'm getting a little closer. Greg, isn't this a ridiculous exercise to go back and forth over the resignation of cabinet secretaries when vets are dying on waiting lists? Well, I... I firing Shinseki or making him resign, it, it solves almost nothing because... What we're talking about is bureaucracy, not medical staff. This is bureaucracy. If there's a wooden table, bureaucracy brings the termites. They, they bring nothing of help. So if there is a secret list uh, uh, th th that they're using in other, uh, in other facilities, 26 or 27, then that suggests a pattern. Then an order was given or shared by bureaucrats. So it's almost like Benghazi, where you say, who pushed the video? In this case, it's who pushed the death list? Who... Who decided this was OK? It is Benghazi in a way times 10 because 40 people died. It's not about the actual medical staff. We have to make that clear. Those guys are just as good as anybody in a private hospital. It is about bureaucr bureaucracy and the dysfunction that the civil unions and the bureaucrats bring to the hospitals. Mm. And they also had warnings. Yeah about the VA for years and years and years leading up to this, and they did have warnings about uh, lackluster security. Eric, do you think the reason that President Obama keeps General Shinseki in so, is because he can run interference, so he can deal with all the incoming, and then it deflects off the president, and then when the media decides to stop focusing on this and move along, then he can make some internal HR changes. I, I think that's exactly what it is. As long as um, Eric Shinseki is the guy, is the face of this, just as Kathleen Sebelius was the face of, of the healthcare.gov, notice when that thing got fixed, then they moved her out. So when they fix the, uh, the VA, they'll move Shinseki out or he'll, he'll be able to step down. But I would disagree. I would say that in every organization, if, if it's, there, there has to be, you know, accountability, the buck stops here, someone has to take, take some of the blame, and you go to the top and you go to this as high as it goes. So if it stops at Shinseki, like I don't, I'm not sure it stops in Phoenix, like it may go higher, it may be system-wide, and if it is, it is systemic, and it seems like it might be becoming systemic, then I think you go to Shinseki. If Shinseki was telling people that things were going on, that they were out of his control, then you have to take the next step up and did it get to the White House or not, I'm not really sure. In the meantime, in the interim, Fire him, put someone else in there, and when you do that, you send a signal to everyone that works for whoever the new administrator is, they're not going to play around anymore. They're not going to let you get away with um, hidden lists that, that, frankly, are killing veterans. If Shinseki does go, though, Katie, then the pressure seems to dissipate, right? So with him continuing to stay there, the pressure stays on the VA the same way it stayed on HHS, the same way it stayed on the IRS with Lois Lerner there. That's my opinion right. of it. Well, another big problem with government bureaucracy is that when you get rid of a person who was in charge of a scandal, it somehow just goes away. So exactly. with Obamacare, you know, Kathleen Sebelius went away, and guess what we haven't heard about? The problems with Obamacare. It's not about that Obamacare has been fixed. It's that the person who was in charge of it is gone now, and we're no longer allowed to ask questions. That is the danger here if Shinseki goes away. But that doesn't mean he shouldn't be fired. And the reason why Barack Obama won't fire him, because if he fire him, fires him, that is an admission that someone in his, his administration screwed up. And Barack Obama has never admitted that his administration has made mistakes, and he's not going to do it now. And let's not forget that President Obama has never really had a problem with firing generals. He's pretty much purged a lot of the generals in our military on disagreements about the war. But for some reason, he's not willing to step up to the plate and say, you need to go. 
We need to get this fixed. And only Barack Obama can make the issue of vets dying and turn it into during a press conference all about what he has done and that it's not his fault. Bob, yesterday I said that I didn't think this was a scandal. I do think the IRS is a scandal. I think that Benghazi is a scandal. This, though, is the failure of government-run health care exposed to the United States of America. And President Obama is not going to admit that he screwed up because then that would undermine his signature achievement, health care. And he's not going to be vulnerable on what he spent the first four well, years I, of his uh, tenure working Let me working repeat on. what I said to you yesterday. It's apples and oranges. By the way, outside of Petraeus, I wonder which generals you're talking about that he's fired. But I... Uh, here, let me, let's talk about what the political fallout of this is. This is. I think that's a more important issue right now from Obama's standpoint. When you talk about the IRS, you talk about Benghazi. I don't think there's a big voting constituency out there for it, frankly. But when you talk about veterans, then you're now hitting home. Mm -hmm. And so I think in some ways of all the things that have gone on here, whether it's the IRS or whatever else it is, this one has, a, has the potential. If it's not dealt with effectively and in people's minds, it's not dealt with effectively. It will cost them, it will cost Democrats at the polls. And that's what's got me worried about it. Not, of course, I'm worried about the people who didn't get served. Uh, but, but from a purely political standpoint, mm -hmm. this is a very dangerous area to be treading. And, and you I'm, notice, uh, I'm, I'm sorry, you notice all of a sudden we had been on this. Fox has been on this since day one, since the scandal broke. Um, and then the mainstream media really didn't really pay a lot of attention. It wasn't really on the, 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 the evening news. It wasn't on the front page of the, of, of the, uh, the, the, the Post. It wasn't uh, some of the other left-leaning TV networks weren't covering. All of a sudden, everyone's on it. They well, realized, I got it wrong. CNN was on it first. Well, they, they yeah. discovered yeah. it. They yeah. broke it, but they yeah. broke it in a local, a local broke it, not, yeah. not nationally. And they, frankly, stayed away from it for a little bit. Katie, can I just clarify something? I didn't mean to say, and I hope I didn't say it, that I thought Obamacare was fixed. I think I said that I thought healthcare.gov got fixed, and then they let Sebelius walk. And right. I think the same thing might be happening. Well, that's, here. I mean, and that's the bigger issue here is that even if we wait until the problem is fixed, whatever the problem may be, the fact is that the VA can't be fixed because government healthcare doesn't work. So no matter what they do, no matter who they put in there, government bureaucracy controlling a healthcare system, whether it's a VA, which is a small example of what it's going to be like for the entire country. And well, Greg, don't you think that's why that so many Democrats keep talking about? There's a scandal. There's a scandal. They're quick to say this is a scandal because I agree with Bob. It's an election year. Dying veterans are political kryptonite. Um, also, these stories are local. So they're in the local papers and all politics are local. But if you if you don't call it a scandal, then you have to look at the policy. Why did this happen? You have to actually look at something else other than just maybe mismanagement. And that means ideology. And they don't want to have that debate. Yeah, it's it's the issue here is is priorities. That we have, we we are as a country have been shifting away from, uh, I guess, protecting and, and being concerned about the people that we should. Uh, it's not about what the government does. It's what a, it's about what the government encourages others to do. The message being to use victimhood to beat the system, to target businesses over unfairness, to view success as a result of inequality. Firing Shinseki allows this mentality to continue. It's not. I don't think Shinseki knew about this. I don't even think President Obama knew about it. But the problem is. It happened because nobody really cared, and it's part of a greater, a greater kind of, I don't know, they just don't care. It's not part, they're not the victims that this administration it, is interested in. There was no bigger supporter of the VA than Ronald Reagan. Yeah. He was very strong on it. He was very strong on the military. I don't think you can find a president anywhere that did not think that the VA, as it is, as the government-run health care, is the right thing to do. They do think it's the right thing to do. It should be fixed. But this goes back to Democratic and Republican presidents. Well, speaking of Obama's presidency and how this will affect his presidency, because the media is focused on it. Greg, you rightly point out CNN broke the story. It's been in the papers. I think the New York Times and the Washington Post, or I'm sorry, the Washington Post has defended the president, but most papers have covered this story. Mm -hmm. How is it going to affect his presidency? And Charles Krauthammer weighed in on this, and he talked about how he got elected in the first place. Cool will get you elected. Cool will get you fawning profiles from upscale New York magazines. But Cool will not connect you with the American people when there are allegations that wounded warriors are dying of neglect and corruption. And Cool will not get you any management skills in running the U.S. government. So you and think this, this scandal, more, this scandal no, hurts him this within your... This was more though. We didn't get all that in, because we should probably run another three or we'll four We'll burn you a DVD, and you can okay, play it all, all the time. What was your question, Andrea? I'm sorry. Uh, 
his presidency mm -hmm. going right. forward. He got elected because he was cool. Right. He was a cool guy. He was a celebrity president. So does something like this sweep all of that aside finally and they start to see whether it's ideology or mismanagement, this president isn't exactly cool. Well, well what and, and, I, and I quite frankly don't think that this president actually really cares because we've seen this situation happen over and over again. It's the Obama administration playbook. Something happens, they say it was localized, they say it was some rogue agency or rogue employees outside, then it trickles up the system and is more widespread, then it's Barack Obama knew nothing about it, then it's I'm really mad about this, we're going to get to the bottom of it, no one gets fired, and they run out the clock by asking for things like reports and reviews, just like President Obama did yesterday, and we never get to the bottom of it. And in terms of Shinseki, Shinseki, the reason why I think he should go is he was brought in under Barack Obama when he was elected to fix the problem. For five years, that problem hasn't only not been fixed, the wait times have doubled and the backlog has doubled. Are you suggesting the president didn't get the job done. care about this? Is I don't think he saying? does. But it, no, I don't. That's, Eric, that's, Eric that's you could bring in anyone. You could bring in Superman. You could bring in Carrot Top. If he doesn't have the blessing of the commander in chief to fundamentally and radically change the agency, how is he going to do it? And what do you expect uh, to come out of this that, report next isn't week? Isn't that what you do? You, bring, you put people in these cabinet positions to make sure that it, that, that, that it works. And if it doesn't work, you, you hope that they come back and say, here's what we need to do to fix it. Look, this is a scandal. I would disagree with you, and I think it's going to only get much bigger. I think it's scandal number one because vets have, have died. I think it's going to be widespread. I think it's going to be systemic. I think you're going to see as more and more whistleblowers uh, decide to come forward, you're going to see a lot more people who are dying, a lot more BS going on at, at the VA. And scandal number three that hasn't even started yet is we're going to find out where all that money is going, and it's certainly not going to health care to, to the vets. I mean, we've gone from an $85 billion outlay in 2008 to a $154 billion outlay last year, Bob. That is a ton of money that is going somewhere, and, and when that starts to bubble up, then heads will probably start I've, I've to roll. I've taken it upon myself to do a little study here because I know we can't get it done here otherwise to find out how many of these horror stories were going on during the Reagan administration. I'll report back next week. Oh, because well, that'll do that us, like, that'll do dude, us that was a, like a lot of good. Ago. Go ahead, no, but, but like when you know ago. something awful happens when that happens, the, the employment of deflection. It's like your house is on fire and a Democrat will say, yeah, but the sun's really hot. Uh, <laughs> the, 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 it goes back to, and I'm going to now begins the broken record number two. Who pushed the secret list to fudge the numbers and make bonuses? That's the question for this this uh, scandal, and it is what I would call a gate. Mm -hmm. When this comes out, this report comes out, I bet he'll push, he'll push for more money instead of really figuring out a solution like charter hospitals for veterans or, or something else, and it'll just disappear. Next on the five.